public safety concerns, a spiraling fentanyl crisis, empty offices, shuttered businesses. That was February 9th of this year when Mayor London Breed highlighted several city priorities, including making downtown a clean and safer environment. Today, we took a closer look at the mid-market area of San Francisco after the city agreed to extend the contracts of the safety ambassadors who provide non-police responses. Someone who works on these streets told us that in the past month or so, things have slightly improved. A greater police presence seems to be the main reason. In late March, the Board of Supervisors voted to pay for police overtime in response to the staff shortage within that department. On May 1st, the state also deployed the National Guard and CHP patrols to crack down on drug dealing. But residents here are mixed about the results so far. Being harassed by people and just the open-air drug market and the fact that there's absolutely no enforcement at all, especially a 7th admission. Maybe a little bit of an improvement. Some people have been housed, so there's less people on the street. A recent Chamber of Commerce survey found that three in four people think the city is on the wrong track. That's no surprise to us. We've been calling this out for, for quite a while. But I do agree with the mayor that there is change abound. There's change happening uh, right now, and people are feeling this tipping point, this movement where the San Francisco, we just know we can do better. Felicia Jones is with wealth and disparities in the black community. She says it's time city departments turn to community organizations in the fight against drug addiction. Trust us with the money mm -hmm. and take and take the handcuffs off us and let us be an impact in our community because we're the experts. Three months after presenting the city's roadmap, today Mayor Breed agreed the city alone can fix these problems. We've got work to do, but let's embrace that work. Let's chase those opportunities. Let's think bigger than we ever have before. And we will make magic happen in San Francisco again. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.